The video. Here we go. <clears throat> Mr President, my question is to the Minister for Lands and Water, the Honourable Niall Blair. Minister, have you made formal representations on behalf of the people of Broken Hill, Menindee, Wilcannia and Pooncarie to the Federal Minister for Water, Barnaby Joyce, regarding their water crisis? And if so, what has been his response? Mr President, I thank the member for his, um, for his question. And in relation to um, a series of projects there, there are a number of different elements um, that I could run through because each of one of those is quite different, even though they may um, all originally come off the Darling system. Um, some of them uh, involve the utilisation of weirs for their, uh, for their uh, water supply. Some uh, have bores and some are looking at um, bigger projects as well. And in some cases, Mr President, we haven't needed to go to anyone else for assistance because the New South Wales government has been able to put up the money for, for oh, these yeah, things yeah. as well. So, yeah, yeah. Mr President, in relation to the uh, Broken Hill short-term and long-term um, solution, this government actually funded it uh, through uh, the election commitment that we said that we would take to the 2015 election. So um, we don't need to go and seek um, any extra funding uh, for that project to commence because we've already committed the funds ourselves. In relation to some of those other projects, again, DPI Water, um, DPI Water, uh, DPI Water can fund those projects um, within the commitments that this government has made. Mr. President, you can't, Mr. President, you can't talk about. Um, issues in relation to uh, water security for communities like Broken Hill that at the moment uh, relies upon the Menindee system without talking to the federal government and without talking to some of the other states because all of these things are in intrinsically linked. So the operation um, and, and the types of works that we're looking at in places like Menindee certainly is something that uh, is raised with not only the federal government, but it's also raised with people like the Victorian government and the South Australian government, because the operation of Menindee Lakes, um, particularly when, when, the, when there's water within the lakes, falls to the federal government for its operation. So, so these are the types of things that we have regularly, we have regularly discussed um, at uh, ministerial council level. It's something that we discussed with the other states. And more importantly, Mr. President, Mr. President, it's something that we discussed with the, the communities right up and down the Darling system about what we're doing, because what, uh, what is an issue uh, at Menindee is also an issue further upstream for some of those communities that rely upon the irrigation um, sector. It's also for those communities downstream of Menindee that also rely upon um, the irrigation sector, but also, as the member has mentioned in, um, in the initial part of his question, point also order. rely for the... Point of order. order. Uh, Mr Jeremy Buckingham on a point of order. Point of order, Mr President. My point of order is to relevance. Mr President, my question asked what formal representations the Minister had made specifically to the Honourable Barnaby Joyce. We are nearly two minutes through his answer and he is not, but I believe, been even generally relevant to that question as to what those represents, representations to that Minister. Yes, there's no point of order. The Minister has the call. <laughs> <laughs> Mr President, um, it's, it's something that is regularly discussed with a number of stakeholders, whether it's those communities along the system, whether it's um, other states that are also have involvement with the, with the uh, operation of the system, or if it's other jurisdictions like the federal government. And as I said, Mr President, it's something that is discussed quite openly with the federal minister at uh, places like Minco. Um, the local member at the moment, Susan Lay, um, I've had discussions with her about what's happening out there. And also with the redistribution, um, the township that surrounds, uh, that's the township of Broken Hill and, and uh, Amindy Lakes will be redistributed into a, another federal seat. So I'm sure there's um, going to be another series of conversations with federal members um, in relation to what we're planning there. But the point of, the, point of it is, Mr President, the New South Wales Government is funding this project. The New South Wales Government took this to the election. Those opposite stood in the way of this funding. We are now getting on and building the long-term solutions uh, along with the, the short-term solution, which we, have all, which we have already implemented, Mr President. As far as the operation of the lakes, Something involves many different stakeholders and is regularly, discuss regularly discussed. Order.
President. Order. Minister Sam's expired. Blair, the President. Uh, the Honourable.